Hello. This exercise is going to be the basics of articulations, and particularly single-tongued articulations, both legato, staccato, and regular articulations. Um, the beginning of a sound, or the clarity of a sound, is what we kind of consider articulations. It can be slurred, it can be tongued, but we're going to concentrate on the single-tongued. What that means is just that you're executing the sound with the tip of your tongue. Um, most people say the syllable ta. So when you do that, notice my jaw is extending. Ta. Um, so there is a vowel in place. Actually, a lot of band methods just have the T, like that. Um, and if I do that, my tone isn't going to be that great. So we're going to work first on just some air and tonguings without the flute at all. Um, so to do this, I'm going to have you put, let me flute down here from off. Um, one hand on your stomach, and you're going to blow from your stomach, and you're going to say the syllable ta with the air. So I'm going to go and start and stop with just the ta, okay? And you should feel kind of a ha motion. Actually, before we do this, let's actually just say ha, 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 okay? Can you feel that? Put your hand on your stomach and actually say ha, ha, ha. And my stomach, I can actually feel my stomach go out. It goes out. Um, not in. So when I do that on the flute, let me just use a B flat. I'm not going to use any ta at all. I'm just going to use the ha. Okay? Notice it's a really round tone. Now, we're going to put the ta involved. So I'm going to have you put your hand in your stomach again because you're still going to feel that ha, but you're going to execute it with a ta. Let's vocalize it first. Ta, ta, ta. Okay? Now, try it with the air column. Blow as if you're blowing out through a straw. Your embouchure is formed, and you're going to just use the air. Okay? Now, let's try that on the flute. We're going to try it with a B-flat. Let's try it um, with a B-flat scale. What you're going to do is you're going to hold your, your first note as a half note, get your best, best tone out, and then give me four eighth notes with a ta. So it'll sound like this. If you want, pause this video and practice just that. Um, but let's talk about some problem, some kind of troubleshooting things, okay? If your tone is not as good in your tongued notes as it is in your full home or half note in this case, um, it's probably due to the air direction um, or the vowel. So let's do, let's do both of those. The air direction, sometimes when I'm sustaining a note, I'm sustaining at one air speed in one direction. And then when I tongue it, the air is coming out faster. It's just the way that it actually goes. And I say, ta that air comes out faster, and so sometimes it can kind of crack on you, or maybe it goes all the air, all the air goes across the flute. So if I hear, see how those tones aren't equal? My, my half note is awesome, and then my tongue note's not quite the same level. So I'm going to double check something. I'm going to make sure my embouchure is about the same opening, all right? And I'm going to make sure I'm not using more air, and I'm going to experiment with that. Here's my good note. And then they're about equal. Um, if you're still getting a really airy tone, try to aim towards your elbow as you're tonguing it. Because an airy tone means more the air is going across the flute. When I do this, I'm not turning in the flute, remember. Um, that if you haven't watched some of the tone videos, that, that will really help with that. No, don't turn in the flute. It's all about my direction. My top lip is guiding the airstream more downward as I'm saying the syllables. Okay, so we've done all of the, the ta. Um, there are different vowels that you can use. Ta, 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 or tu, 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 tu. Those are all fine. You can actually even use da, 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 or do, 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 do. It's a little softer. Um, if you're ever having problems with a middle note cracking, sometimes I use, like to use the syllable da. It's still a forward syllable if you say da and ta. Um, it's just a little bit more gentle in the palate, and it allows for a little bit more control of that airspeed. They're both fine. All, all band methods say ta, but you can interchange those two vowels, da or ta. Um, 
if it sounds like my t sound is being choked, like the tone is coming out, but it's kind of weak, um, check how your jaw is aligned. My teeth should be apart. I'm not going t t t. I'm going ta ta ta. If I go t t t. The sound is going to be very thin. Um, it also doesn't allow for your tongue to have mobility. Um, when you're tonguing, you're single tonguing, you're starting in the upward position right before your, your teeth, and then your tongue comes back to a neutral position down. Ta, 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 ta. That will help open up your tone as well. So that's the basics of single tonguing. And you can do various scales. It's a good way to practice. Do, do a different scale every day and just do it different speeds. Once you get good at this, you can practice your single tonguing faster. And so that you can get get better at that. But at first, you might want to practice that slow. Might even want to practice with a metronome. Metronomes are friends. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about here, oh, is the difference between legato articulations, which is kind of smooth, and staccato, which is short. So legato articulations, I'm going to kind of connect my air column with the ta or the da. Ta 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 ta. A staccato. I'm going to separate my air column. I'm going to use more of my diaphragm, the ha, to help me with this. Ta 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 ta. So let's try do the, doing this with just singing. I'm going to do it on a B flat, and I'm going to sing first. I'm going to go. Let's sing that together. Ta ta ta. Now try play it on your flute, on a B flat. That's staccato, coming from my stomach. If you're cracking the notes, if it's coming, something like that, um, that's probably your air speed. You're using too much air. So that in your fastness of your tonguing, ta, 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 you're using more air. So double check that you're just using a short amount, of, a little bit of air and maybe aim it more towards the, your elbow without turning in the flute for that staccato. For a legato one, we, as we talked about, you're going to connect your air column, but you're still going to kind of start it a little bit more gently with your tongue. So singing this one, ta, 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 ta. I'm continually blowing. So when I'm holding out my half note in this one, I'm checking how much air I'm going to use. And as I'm initiating that single tongue, ta, 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 I'm doing it very, very gently in my oral cavity. Remembering to use the vowel, not t, 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 t. That's going to be really hard to get a legato on. More better to get, more better, more better to get a nice legato type of articulation. So if you put some element of this um, in your daily practice, um, you'll get better and better at the single tonguing. The next video we're going to talk about once you've mastered this, and if you're newer to the flute, don't worry about this next video series at all. It's more um, advanced articulations like double tonguing and triple tonguing, basically when you need to go faster and you can't execute the single tonguing anymore. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me on my um, email. It's um, listed on my website, which is bayareaflutist.com. Thank you.